welcome to Tech Notice. This is another episode of my studio makeover series where I'm improving different parts of my studio and today we're going to be improving the audio. So let's start. Hey, the plan is, is basically I want a permanent audio solution to be like set out over here in the studio. So I don't necessarily have to put like a time icon and I want this also to be acting as actually a little bit of a backup audio so that my backup audio is as good as like my main audio. So if this time mic, you know, for example, something happens, I accidentally sit something funny on it or the, you know, mic comes out from the actual socket, then I still have some kind of a main audio that works really, really good. And for that, I wanted to set up a shotgun microphone. And this is the main kind of a, you know, feature or the main element of this setup. This is a Saramonic Soundbird V1. And you're thinking, I have never heard about that before. Saramonic is actually very high end, but more of a budget option kind of audio product solutions. I've done some other products from them before, but I wanted to use something that like nobody is really using before. And this can either bite me in the backside or I'm gonna find the really nice bank for buck deal. And this is all what we're about here. Best bank for buck studio makeover uh, series. So this is going to be the main kind of guy and let's open this up to see what is inside. Okay, we have a few stickers, we have a small XLR cable, we have the shock mount and then we have the actual microphone. Voila! This is actually very, very budget option when it comes to shotgun microphones, especially in that type of range or this quality. So feel free to check it out in the links below, but this is going to be uh, hopefully very nice quality in a moment we're going to be setting this up so you're going to hear what quality sound you're going to be getting from this so that's going to be that basically i wanted to also set up my zoom h5 and put that microphone to come into my zoom h5 because i can add a compressor on the zoom h5 so that means that i can actually get a little bit of a louder signal come in and I don't have to worry about if I'm like coughing or making a loud noise or talking a little bit louder and the sound is maybe accidentally clipping. After it's come from here, the compressor and preamps over here of the microphone actually gives it uh, 48 volts of phantom power as, as well, which we need. I could plug it straight into my Blackmagic uh, camera, but then I would need like an XLR to XLR mini converter, but I don't want to do that. So I want to run it through here. And that also gives me another step of kind of a backup so I can record the audio in here as well, just in case something happens with, you know, the camera audio or something like that. It's still all right. And I'm going to get a line out from here. So just a 3.5 millimeter jack, and that's going to go to the camera output. And we're going to get the sound actually recorded onto the video file and on this device over here as well. And that's going to be permanently set up, but I don't want that just to be tingling around somewhere that's why we need a few more things yeah see that c-stand in that corner over here i want it to be mounted on there so i can see the levels in the corner of my eye and i can easily press record if i wanted to and then the xlr can run up to the microphone if i wanted to and at the same time i can also get this podcast boom microphone out if i just want to do like a talking head for some kind of you know a new graphics card or something from here i could just pull this in and put the other xlr input into this one and then I can get audio from there. But in order to mount it over there, we need some kind of things. So I asked my friends from Andy Cine if they wanna, you know, send me a super clamp, but they sent me a few uh, extras. So let's have a look. What do we get over here? Oh, by the way, we do need this uh, little arm over here as well for the shotgun microphone because I want it to come a bit further down and with this, I can angle it a little bit where I want this to, to sit. So that's gonna go for the shotgun microphone. And then I already have a little kind of a magic arm. This is like a tiny one that we're gonna be attaching behind the H5 and that goes to the super clamp. But let's have a look what Andy Cine then sent here. Okay, so it seems like this is like a D-tap extension cord basically by the way andy Sydney, if you don't know they're always like producing very kind of quality but very affordable stuff so if you want to check any of those out feel free to check them out i'll leave them in the this description below as well okay what do we have over here so seems like this one is a mini tripod oh that would be really good for vlogging actually if i put that over there oh and then it comes even further that seems very high quality okay 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 there we go this is what we're needing. It's a little bit of a different super clamp than usual super clamps, but basically, you know, the same works. You're going to twist it and open it up. 
and then you can add this you know to your c stand and then screw it in the cool thing about this is there is so much more mounting options than a usual super clamp usual super clamp usually has like either two like i think it's quarter inch and half an inch um like mounting screw holes but this one over here has loads as you can see there's lots on this side lots on this side which i like a lot so we're going to be using that hey this is this is another super clamp oh okay so this is a super clamp yeah this is like the normal you know super clamp that maybe you're used to super clamp but this one has a v-mount attached to it and seems like you could actually get this v-mount kind of a uh, quick release system out from the super clamp and just use the super clamp as well if you undo these three screws, I bet there's like a quarter inch screw that attaches to this quarter inch screw hole inside over there. I might use this one as well. Thank you very much. Then what do we have over here? This is a quick release plate. So if you want a very uh, affordable and very small form factor quick release plate, ooh, look at that. You'd put that on your camera or any device you want. And then quick release plate, we're gonna have this. Do you want, we're actually gonna use this over here because then I can easily take this off if I wanted to use this somewhere else. So what else is here? Okay, this is like a cheese grater plate with a V-mount attached to it as well. So you have a V-mount option over here. So look at that. So you can put this to anything you want and then slide it in there if you wanted to. And also it comes with like the 15 rod uh, kind of attachment as well. So if you have like two 15 millimeter rod system, you can just attach that to that. I forgot that there is one more thing. We need power for this because I don't want to rely only on the batteries because if the batteries run out, we're going to get... So the power solution then is something where this Beisus, Beisus comes in. Check this out. First of all, they have two very interesting products and if you're great or not, you you might be very interested in this. First of all, I didn't actually ask for this, but they sent me this as well. So let me open this as well, but it's it's very impressive thing. So this over here is a car charger. So, you know, the cigarette holder where you put this charger. This one over here, check this out. This little one, there is two parts over here, USB-A and USB-C. The cool thing is this can put out power of 65 watts 65 watts so that means that if you have a laptop like your macbook or something like that put it in here and it can charge your macbook no problem that's ridiculous so definitely gonna put that in my car and then there is this one over here which is a power bank but this is no usual power bank either this power bank has a similar feature that I just mentioned on the car charger. And this one has a 65 watt power output. First of all, it looks very, very slick. It's got metal housing. Let's take this off. 20,000 milliampers inside. The same thing, 65 watt of power. Why I wanna have this over here is I'm gonna put that on the, like somehow on the C stand as well, because if I need to have another like a laptop over here and I don't have a charger or want to charge my phone I can literally just plug it into this USB-C and we get a full 65 watts power charged from just the C stand so that's my plan over here let's do it It's set up over there, you know, the XLR goes over there. And then now this is what it sounds like. Okay, so basically this is compared to like the Timeic that I'm using right now and what this would be over there. 
and you can see like just keep an eye on the corner of the video because sometimes you can see when the actual effects and like the post editing has been applied or effects and then what it sounds like straight out of the box so this is what it looks like so i can easily monitor the levels over there i can see like i'm peaking somewhere around like minus 12 db which is perfect right now maybe a little bit more let's keep it a little bit more so that's it something like that so basically now i can record a backup on there for the ceremonic v1 soundbird v1 and then over there the cool thing about this microphone also is that if you don't have a phantom powered you know like a device that can give you phantom power you can actually put a, just a double a battery inside there and then that will be fine as well also on the uh, microphone over here i have minus 10 db let's see that check 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 as you can see now it's very much quieter this is minus 10 db on and now it's off the cool thing is there is a little led that also marks when it's on and off so you know like when it's on and off because otherwise it will be quite difficult to know which is cool so, and now this is a low cut so i've added that one on as well so that should just like clean a little bit of our lower end of the microphone but other than that let me know how it sounds do you think this ceremonic soundbird v1 sounds good or does it sound Mm, not so good. Let me know whether you prefer like the time microphone or the soundbird v1 Finally our sound improvement for the studio setup has been done If you want to check out any of the things I use in this video the links are in the description below Thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and actually makes a difference subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye